I don't, uh, don't have a mic set up right now. I guess I do, but... Eh. So... This is so weird. It's so difficult. It's not difficult. The children from the bases are used through the supercomputer systems to generate artificial spaces which act as universes which are used as a multiverse where inside the children from the bases they're used as gateways one to one to one to one and it keeps going and then you have a map of a huge grid their minds are used as gateways their souls are used as vessels vehicles for travel through the higher dimensions for those who are non-souled non-souled humanoids I've been trying to say that for a while um, I really don't know what else to say. I always get clammed up at this point. I've been doing it lately. Kind of. I mean, I just said this two seconds ago to somebody. I should have recorded, but it's alright. Um, the non soul non humanoids or humanoids have a, it's as if there's no warmth in the system for them because they must not identify with some type of parameters unifying the multiverse. Basically the uh, The, um, the parameters of life that are instilled within the children that are capable of acting as these gateways, those parameters don't feed the non-souled humanoids or non-human entities. So they have to feed themselves, they have to provide themselves with warmth, sacrifice, and abuse. Ingesting the life force is the way that that's done. Maybe he didn't program the system right. Regardless, the answer is not to to run or to flip out and try and change everything overnight. Although that's part of it. It's happened seven times before that the system's been reset. However, they're It's, uh, it reduces the likelihood of surviving intact the more times that's done because you're basically stretching out a thread across multiple dimensions, streamlining an entire civilization through that system. And then the concept of burning out timelines, using them up, is essentially pushing the minds of the children too far past the breaking point and the whole system's collapsed. We're in a net grid one person being used as a gate and in that world in an underground base another person child is being used as a gate and so on that's the multiverse it's in our minds um something else i was going to say uh, okay so the entire civilization might be streamlined relayed through a server system running through a series of uh, series of uh, children's minds hooked to these systems. So the idea I don't know why I picked this spot. The idea is that system or universe is the one that contains a beneficial res resolution for all whereby the truth is exposed or unveiled for all to know and choose for themselves. It's the one where free will is present. It's the one that hasn't been de-incorporated from the truth and incorporated into the bullshit, sorry, uh, paradigm of using kids as universal gateways for taking over timelines and doing whatever you want. 
so nobody wants to talk about that, but they're also not using it properly. The souls are used as vehicles for the non-souled humanoids to travel through hyperspace. They don't want to shut it off because they think after that there's nothing left. Who's... who's to say? <laughs>